I'm here with uh, Mr. Andy Decker, the, the superintendent of the Scarborough Sports Complex. Yes, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. It's, it's a beautiful, bright day. We're not too hot yet. Right. So we got to get this done quick, right? Yes, sir. Huge facility behind us. What are we going to see today? When you come in, it's Momentum Bank Ballpark. It's the baseball field. Minor A double affiliate for the Oakland A's, the Midland Rockhounds play at. And then we have on the outside four auxiliary fields that are used for youth sports and adult recreational sports. And then the big thing for the football community out in West Texas is Grande Communication Stadium, where we have field Turf has provided us with their turf and it's uh, the cool system on the field. With this stadium, we can get anywhere from five to 12,000 people on a Friday night just for a high school football game. Woo! What is that experience like? Crowds are usually pretty into the game. You get the bands, cheer sections, all that going. Kids are playing their hearts out. It's usually a great environment out here. Are there any other complexes in the area that kind of compare to it? There are fields in the area, but as far as an overall complex, it has all this to offer with the baseball and the auxiliary fields. This is the one spot. We've made it to the, the crowd jewel of the sports complex, right? This is Grande Communication Stadium. For a primarily high school football stadium, it's pretty large. The maximum capacity uh, in the seating is uh, 14,000. If you use the grass berms, you can get up to possibly 16,000 in here. You know, when you're walking up, especially coming from the stands, the first thing I noticed was is the, the bright blue. Just explain to me what that process was like, kind of choosing these colors and then also working with a, like a company like Field Turf. Field Turf really was able to allow us to use what colors we needed. City of Midland, our color is kind of blue, so we went with blue. The two high schools, it's hard to show favoritism to one or the other. One of them's primary color is purple, the other's maroon. So we went with our color blue. We like the way it pops with the green. The end zones, if you've seen them, they have the city's logo on them. That was the decision made, but Field Turf made it really easy to accomplish that goal. Now, one thing we were kind of talking about before, I mean, we are in, in West Texas, it gets pretty warm out here. The use of the green pellets in the turf, I'm used to seeing the, you know, the, the, the black. That is field turf. They do what they call the cool play system. That's the green pellets. It is to help with the heat on the field. Mm -hmm. So the black pellets, it just puts off a little more heat than the green do. Mm -hmm. So it makes it more comfortable for the players and the coaches. Hopefully we don't run into dehydration situations because of the heat coming off the field with that. Obviously the football team uh, plays here at the stadium. Who else utilizes this? The Midland Independent School District soccer teams also utilize the stadium. They get more experience of this when we get into April and stuff and they're in their playoff run, the heat obviously starts to rise a little so they're getting a little more feel on the heat mm -hmm. from the turf. And then during the summer, there is an organization called the Soccers. They're a minor league soccer team. They also utilize the facility. Being out in West Texas, obviously everyone knows if you're out here, there's not a ton of days where we get a lot of rain. You may go anywhere from 200, 300 days without rain. Turf holds up extremely well in those climates and it does a great job. The four auxiliary fields that are used for youth and adult recreational sports use turf fields. The baseball field is an all natural grass field. Is there ever a moment every field is, is being utilized in a weekend or a day? There are times we have multiple youth football associations out here. Some of them may be here, some of them may be there. The baseball team may be playing or we may have to where there's soccer here soccer all out there and then high school or college baseball in the stadium it's a good atmosphere to be at kind of go a little bit deeper into what is a superintendent what is a sports facility superintendent i oversee the complex i help manage um, the scheduling of events and then we oversee the maintenance and maintain the stadiums to try and keep them in the shape they're in so that people can enjoy their experience how big is the staff you guys uh, kind of manage here currently we have me the superintendent one supervisor and then uh, five full-time maintenance staff. And we also have staff from the recreation center that comes out. We have a splash pad over in baseball that the aquatics division works with. We have to have help on the bigger events to help get the facility ready for the next one. We pulled up and the first thing I noticed is the rock. What's the significance? Back in 2000, when they were excavating and building the stadium, as you can see, if you go in, the field is sank down. It's not at level with us. So they had to dig all this rock out and get it out with explosives so that they could put the field into play over here. And this was one of the big chunks they wanted to put out in front of the stadium. Have you tried to lift it before? No, sir. I'm not, I'm not there. I'm you ain't that crazy? No, sir. <laughs> Which teams play here utilize the stadium? Midland Rockhounds, but they are the Oakland A's AA affiliate. Now, what's 
the significance behind the, the name Rock Hounds? Or how, well, why? you're looking at it, it's right here. The rocks that they had to do to dig it up, the owners thought that was a good name for the team, so that's what they decided to go with. In the past, they were the Midland Cubs and then the Midland Angels, so if they named themselves the Midland uh, Rock Hounds, if the A's decide to go to another double-A and we get another team, they will always be the Rock Hounds. What year was this, this whole facility built? The starting was in 2000, the stadium opened in 2001. The project itself usually takes a few years. You have to acquire land, get permits, get pre-work done as far as scoping on what you're gonna do with the work. One of the steps you kind of mentioned in the stadium building process is the acquiring land. Now, what is the significance of how the land was, you know, kind of purchased for, for this facility? Out here for the entire complex, the Scarborough family donated the land to the city to use to build this for it to be a sports use complex. They did a great favor for the community. As we were driving up, you kind of mentioned that Saturdays, youth football is crazy. 2,000, 3,000 plus parents around the field. Talk about that atmosphere. A few years before they get to Friday Night Lights, everyone's got to get to playing time in. They take it so serious, the youth football out here in West Texas. You can line this entire area before in probably an eight hour time period, over 2,000 people with parents, kids, grandparents, everyone out here watching, cheering wanting to see their child do the best they can, getting ready to go play at UT, you know? You're talking about youth football. I know I didn't play on my first turf field until maybe high school. Four-year-olds that play on this field, this is what they grow up on. How did the city of Midland know that this type of complex was needed? Back when the Scarboroughs were donating the land, people had the vision to understand that with all the land out here, not just for the big two stadiums, that these little fields would be necessary to help the youth grow because the youth have grown so much in how the participation has rised over the years and it's continuing to rise. And Midland has multiple facilities for youth athletics. So putting fields out here made great sense and it helps accommodate the community. We uh, plan to put two more fields out in the area so that we can better accommodate the youth we have out here and tournaments trying to be held in this community. So if, you, if you're in youth sports, youth football specifically, Midland is the place to be, right? It is one of the best places to be. The Permian Basin area comes out here in great numbers.